Yo, what's going on guys? Chadley here and we just finished up our first stream of Mayhem 2.0 and I'm very happy with where this game has gone. The new weapons are absolutely insane so I just want to keep showing them off to you guys and one of the ones that has really surprised me is the yellow cake. The yellow cake is a COV launcher that can spawn with up to two projectiles for its damage and it's uh, I believe it can go up to like 47,000 I want to say somebody said uh, for its max damage and then it has obviously it's COV so it's gonna have shots to break so you can shoot a good amount of shots before you need to reload and let it cool down and basically what this gun does is when you shoot the farther it travels it's gonna split into more projectiles it's gonna split into four so then if you're times two it's gonna split into eight at that distance and then eventually it'll kind of get some uh it gets affected by gravity and the balls will start to fall instead of just keeping on going straight. So you can't shoot it very far. It is a fairly close to medium range weapon. If you guys want to get your hands on this, this comes from the cartel enemies, Fish Slap and Tyrone Smallimus. So if you guys want to get your hands on that, go ahead and kill them. They can spawn randomly in your world. But the easiest way is definitely just to go into the cartel event and just play through that and hopefully get them as bosses. Now on stream, we ended up getting this near perfect roll on it. It's not max damage, but we do have the gain 300% weapon damage against enemies above 90% health. So we're just going to be one tapping basically everything in the game for the most part. So I just want to show you guys what we can do with that. We're here on White Death Flak. I did throw on a stack bot because I've been messing around with this now that it works with bonus elements. So I've just been playing around with that and I have a snow drift on, there's no pearl on. And then our modifiers basically is as neutral as we can get. We're actually just going to be losing some uh, dot damage over here. Otherwise, nothing is really going to be boosting our damage. So let's go ahead and run through Athena's. And I mainly just want to show this off on Trant because the damage numbers you see are insane. So otherwise, we're just going to go into fadeaway. And start shooting this bad boy around we hit three mil right there no overkill six and nine million there nice and it's uh it's a little insane now obviously it's gonna work better once we're in fadeaway and when you hit those crits it's gonna go insane i'm way too close to these people if i back up we're gonna be doing even more damage than that and you can just seriously fly through anybody in one shot for the most part uh, the only thing you really need to get used to is the distance that you need to stand from the enemies. Otherwise, you're not going to do all that much. But once they start splitting, we just did 12 million damage right there. Uh, this gun is a lot of fun. And it's also pretty darn ammo efficient. This is the times 2 version. So we're going to be using 2 launcher ammo per shot. And if you guys want to use the 1 ammo one, you're still going to be hitting insane damage numbers and basically one tapping almost any enemy in the game and you'll be a little bit more ammo efficient but we like the damage here so we're just going to use the times two otherwise i'm going to run all the way over to trunt and we're just going to see what kind of damage numbers we can pull off on him all right we made it over here to trunt so i'm just going to shoot off two shots well i'm going to shoot off one shot one shot to get rid of overkill and then we're going to go down here to trunt and see what we can manage with this guy and i i was a little too close right there that was that was my bad but if we stand back a little bit um, we can kill him basically in one to two shots. I was just a little too close. Um, we're going to do that again. And this time I'm going to go for absolutely max damage. I'm going to throw on a one shotter and a pearl. And I'm also going to get some overkill. I just want to see what kind of damage number we can put out with this gun. Okay, we're here back at Trunt. Got an 18 mil kill right there for our overkill. I'm just going to move behind Trant here, throw a grenade for its piss. And I'm a little close, but we're going to see if uh, we get the one tap here. <laughs> uh, we got 101 million plus the 14 mil for the bonus shock damage. So yeah, it is incredibly easy to hit over 100 mil. And that was with me incredibly close if i backed up and got the split projectiles going uh, i don't want to know what kind of numbers we could hit 
This gun, if you wanted to compare this to something, this could definitely be compared to the North Fleet from Borderlands 2. It's got a huge AoE and just deals massive damage. In my opinion, this is better than the Ion Cannon now. The only thing the Ion Cannon really has over it is just the super fast projectile speed, so it goes like right where you're aiming. But the ammo efficiency on that now is just so bad, and this thing has very good ammo efficiency. I'm going to be taking this 100% of the time. So we're going to try that one more time, and we are going to stand a little bit further back so we can actually get the split projectiles to all hit Trant and see if we get a little bit bigger damage number. Also, I need to turn on our damage numbers right there. He's going to do that. We're going to do that right there and let him do his thing. We got an 81 million that time with a couple extra stragglers in there just because it was a split projectile, but you can see how much damage it is like you're able to do consistently with this gun. It is insane. I highly recommend trying to farm this while the event is active because once this event is over, I you guys aren't going to be able to get this gun. So definitely get on while you can go farm this. There is no mayhem level needed to get this gun. Obviously, the higher mayhem you're going to have, the higher damage it's going to do. But just get whatever mayhem one you can. You guys will be good to go for playing on that mayhem and carrying you up higher mayhems. So yeah, guys, that's going to wrap it up for this weapon review. There's going to be a ton more. All the guns, for the most part, that have been introduced into this game are insane and definitely are worth the share. So definitely hit that subscribe button if you guys are interested in seeing some of the other weapons that were introduced today. And if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a thumbs up on it to let me know. We just played for a couple hours tonight and we are actually able to get our hands on this ourselves. And so I'm very unlucky. You guys should have no problem getting a very good yellow cake. As long as you guys are doing a quick farm for the cartel event, you can keep going in and out. You guys can get tons of chances at getting a good yellow cake. Also, we do have a trading channel in our Discord if you guys are interested in that. There's links to all that stuff down below, so definitely check those out. Otherwise, I should catch you all over on Twitch every single day over this coming week where you have so much to do. But otherwise, I'll catch you all in the next video. See ya.